Hey guys, I wanted to release a recent revelation um, that was given off the back end of a Daniel fast. We were actually just in one as a ministry and um, it, we started on January 2nd and finished on January 22nd. And this revelation came on the final day very similarly to Daniel in Daniel chapter 10. And honestly, that's the only reason I'm sharing this because I feel accountability from God and the magnitude of it being that it, it came on the last day, similar how uh, Gabriel was freed up, a messenger angel, on the 21st day to come to Daniel with a, a pretty profound revelation. So, I mean, I've come to learn too, sometimes, um, you know, God share. there's the good, the bad, and the ugly, and sometimes we're just the mouthpiece in between. And, you know, um, God is, is always, His intentions are love, no matter what He's sharing. And it, this is more of a warning dream, but it's the goodness of God. And I believe going to be very helpful, mostly for intercessors and those strategically placed in government. And so, all, you know, this very last day we were, as a ministry, like I said, in a Daniel fast. And just like Daniel, on the last day I will go into this dream, a revelation where I'm looking out over the military of China, bird's eye view, they couldn't see me. And, um, and you see this all throughout Scripture where God reveals plans of certain enemies and things going on, and it's, it's very helpful. Amos 3, 7 says God allows nothing, does nothing in the earth before first revealing His secrets to the prophets. Jeremiah 33, 3 says, uh, you know, I'll show you things, call to me, and I'll show you things which you know not. And you saw this all throughout Scripture where the prophetic, you know, it's very helpful. So that's really what I hope this to be, and again, more or less accountable, to be a mouthpiece with everything good and, you know, uh, some of the tougher topics and everything in between. Um, but I'm looking out in the stream over the military of China, and I'm see, I see they're very uh, calculated, strategically placed, all in uniform and strategizing. And as I'm looking out over them, I begin to hear in the spirit over and over, they're attacking, they're attacking. And then I'm right about to come out of the dream and I even hear the name of a city, um, a region that was sort of in cahoots with, with this plan. And so, um, you know, again, that's not to create fear by any means. Um, we know God's goodness, His protection is always with us. We are led by the spirit. But also there's some real events coming that, you know, God foreshows. It's very helpful, I believe, again, to pray against and to, from a governmental stance, strategize against. And um, so for whatever reason, for years now, I've not seen a great concern with Korea, not to minimize or negate revelations that many have had regarding that. But this is more than one now where I've seen a greater concern in the future. I believe this is more futuristic um, of being towards China and an attack planned towards our country. So at the end of the day, though, I love China. I bless them, their country, all of the earth. Bless our country. We love humanity, all ethnicities and nations, tribes, and, and we know God does too, and we pray for His purposes to be done. The knowledge of God's glory to cover the earth as the waters of the sea. And uh, again, I pray, you know, God's voice land where it needs to for His purposes in uh, in Jesus' name. So I love you guys. I bless you, and we'll catch you next time.